Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm on to do a quick um, children's craft or it can be an adult craft. You can actually really make it really pretty. Um, but the kids I think would have fun with it. It will be cheap and easy and you probably have everything right at your house. So it, come on and say hi. Um, if the kids want to watch, have them watch. It'll give them some ideas. Happy kids will be happy parents and vice versa, right? So I think this is going to be really a cute and easy and fun craft for kids of all ages. Adults can do it. Um, they'll have fun going and gathering what they need. Okay, so like I said, this could be a kid's craft. It could be of any age. It can be um, an adult craft. Um, it's just something that you probably have a lot of it already on hand. I was going in one direction and then I flipped um, at the last minute and ran outside and thought I'd go a different direction on this. So what I've got, and you, you don't need canvas. This is just a flat canvas, 11 by 14. Um, you get them in three packs, I think, um, at Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby. Let me get this out of the way so I don't spill too. Um, you can definitely cut cardboard. That would work too. Um, cardboard would be great. I would probably maybe put scrapbook paper over the cardboard then, but just something to get it lighter or paint the cardboard. Just something to get it a little bit lighter so you can see. So, okay, so what you need to do is you need to go out and gather some branches. And um, I don't have them on the ground. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if my dog is gonna come running up here right now. He's outside with my husband. So I just gathered some branches and we're going to make a wall art for kids, okay? You can do it for kids, you can do it for yourself, but it'll be something fun that they can even hang in their room or put on your mantle or on a shelf or something. I'm using low temp hot glue. Um, if you're using it with young kids, you're going to want to help them with this. You could use like a thick and tacky glue that they could use maybe a little bit more, but you would want to help a little bit. So I'm going to be laying it out. We're going to be doing a canvas and we're going to, you want everything to sort of come down to a middle. Okay. So, and you don't really, oh, let me think. It's okay if it sticks a little above and out like this. I'm just thinking in my head because I haven't tried this yet. So this may be my disaster. I always try, you know, I always try, but this may be my disaster. So I'm just putting a bead of glue. Oh, okay. Along on here. And again, it's okay if some of them stick up. All right, and I went out and got a bunch of them. You gather them from outside. This is a really cheap actual craft. And again, I think it's a lot of things that you already have. It's okay if they go on top of each other. And you want them, you, you don't really have to plan, but you want them to be able to lay out and make sure you get enough glue where they're going to be sticking on. I think this is what I'm going to stick under here. That'll work. See how I did that? If, if some are sticking up, stick it under. That'll work. And let's slide that under there. And it's okay that you get glue around. You're not going to see it when we're done. All right, so I'm just going to put several of these on. And again, I'm just gluing them in place. They're all sort of coming down to a central spot here. And you don't have to glue at the top. You need to glue at the bottom. All right. And that's what I got. So I think I might add, and you can use different different ones. I'm gonna stick another one out like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Can everybody see what I'm doing? Thank you, Dawn. So maybe you can see what I'm doing. Just sticking them in again. All right, that's the start. I have a couple extra. I don't think we're gonna need them. Okay, next, oh, and I actually was gonna grab something else. I might go and grab it in a little bit. Um, yeah, I might grab it in a little bit. We'll see. 
All right, so this is just a little bit of moss, uh, Dollar Tree. Um, and actually, I think I'm gonna start with something else from the Dollar Tree. You see these? Um, you put them in the little wire cages for plants. We're gonna use this, and I'm gonna cut this down. This is from the Dollar Tree also. I'm gonna cut it down. I want it wider, so I'll be able to glue it down. If you cut it a little wider, that's okay. I've never done this before. We'll see how it works. I want it wider than this bottom. We're just gonna cut a piece of this off. And we're gonna have this like a pot. So, all right, so this is gonna be like a pot. Isn't that, that's gonna be really cute. All right, if I say so myself, I haven't tried it, but we're gonna do that. So that's gonna be a pot. Okay, I'm gonna glue that down right away. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the three sides. And again, I'm using low temp hot glue just because if you're doing it with kids, you're gonna want the low temp. You can also use thick and tacky glue. If you do it for yourself, use hot glue by all means. Burn yourself like I always do. All right, so how many kids and grandkids are going to do this? How many are going to be babysitting for your kids and grandkids? And not babysitting for your kids, it's your kids, right? Um, now we're going to use the um, moss. Um, I think what I'm going to do, just so that it stays together, so I'm going to just squirt some glue in the side of here. And I'm running out and I'm just using my little glue gun because this is my low temp gun otherwise I prefer my cordless all right and they're gonna get a little messy doing it but I think your kids are gonna have fun doing this so just tuck in moss You don't need to tuck it all the way in full. Hi, Carol. Thank you, Judy Ann. This really is awesome for kids. I'm excited that you guys are excited that this would be great for them. Like I said, go out and gather those branches. All right, so there's the moss. I think I'm actually gonna add a little more so it comes above. So I'm just doing a little more glue up on top here because I wanna see that green. Um, that adds some color and dimension. Hi, Crafty. Myrna, whenever I see Hi, Crafty, I know it's you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Thank you for passing it on already. All right. And again, this is Dollar Tree Moss. Dollar Tree Pot cut from this, from the Dollar Tree. Branches cut from my yard off of my trees just now at the last minute when I changed direction of what I was going to show you all. Going downstate with the grandkids and do some crafting with them. Yep, keep them busy. All right, there. I love that. Even just like this would be cute. Now, if you're doing it for yourself, I may be stuff at this, but kids want to do more. All right, so. There's all kinds of things. You could get like these little, I look in your craft stash, look in, um, I used to keep a bag and I don't know if my kids remember this, but when they were little and I was a stay at home mom, if I had toilet paper rolls, which there's some people are gonna have a lot of them now, more than others. Um, but if I had toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls or like scrap fabric or scrap yarn or whatever, I would throw it into a bag and on rainy days, like during the summers or, you know, whenever, I'd pull that bag out and they could get creative. So I'd have a bag full of stuff. So again, I don't know if they remember it, but that's what I did. So now it's rainy days. You need to come up with things to get kids happy. So um, these are things, again, you can put this around, like stick it around different places and do things with stuff like this or beads, whatever you have on hand, look around. Little pom-poms would be cute. You could have little pom-poms, little Easter eggs hanging off, adorable. Just put little ribbons on them. Um, I've got little, just these are cheap dollar, I think dollar well these are a dollar 99 but i know i even got them on sale little cheap flowers you just pull them off and you put them let me just let me put them up i'm not going to see what i'm doing but 
And I think I'm going to cut off. All right. Let me put this on. And I'm just going to put them in different places. Now, when the kids have fun doing this, you can give up some of your stash. These are things that I probably really wouldn't use in things that I'm going to make and sell or anything like that. So I'm absolutely happy with doing this. Um, and when I'm done with this, I'll show you what you can do with it and the kids will love it. So just add, I know I'm going to get some glue on me. Just keep adding a little. Now there's other, these were from Walmart. I think last year I got them last summer, probably. Look at, I mean, there were probably what, six, seven of them on there. Um, I have a tag on here from Walmart, $2. Um, but again, use what you have in your house. So I'm maybe just gonna put this down here. And we're just gonna decorate this up. Uh-oh, Myrna. Thank you, Robin. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I hope you guys um, stay busy with kids. Um, again, that's what I'm gonna try and do more of the kids crafts. A lot of them will not be um, um, uh, what, what word am I looking for? They're not going to be um, as creative like that I actually created them um, because there's so much out there already if you just go on Pinterest and that's what I'm going to do for some of these. So look at, I've got these little, just, just pull them apart. These are ones that I probably won't use. Um, let's put some of this color up in the tree. Just lay it on. And again, if you use that thick and tacky glue, the younger kids can maybe do this. All right, let's finish decorating. What else do we got? We've got some, some leaves. If you get tough and rip them off, um, you can maybe stick, I don't know if I, well, I don't know if I necessarily want leaves. You might want leaves. Let's put a pretty pink flower up here. And now I really, really wish I had what I was thinking of here. And if you wait one minute, I could probably get it. But let's just, let's stick maybe a couple, couple of these into by this moss. Stick that in there. So isn't this fun and easy for kids? So I think you get the idea of it. I won't even go get what I was gonna get, but what it was, I was gonna get some either raffia or jute or ribbon and make a little bow and put a little bow down here. Um, just have the kids go fun. And even if they do up on here, um, definitely just cut the end a little shorter. Put this on. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Susan. Have them go crazy and decorate. This is all leftover stuff. Um, I have little white ones here, but I don't. I don't know that you would see them. But that would be sort of cute. I'll. I'll add a little white, white down here, and then let me show you what we're gonna do when they're done decorating it. Ah, that was hot. No, it was. It's low temp, but it is hot. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Yeah, your grandkids will love this. Grandkids, kids, but yeah, definitely on cardboard. This is canvas, but I said at the beginning, use cardboard if you have cardboard. Um, maybe cover it um, or paint it so that it's light colored, or if you have a light colored cardboard. So this is the way you start, and look at how you're gonna finish it. And you're, you just made wall art for the kids. Now, I mentioned that, I think. So now this is just a frame. You can get these frames at Dollar Tree. This is 11 by 14 and this is 11 by 14. I don't know positively that this was from Dollar Tree. It's just what I had here. You take out the glass. Um, you could use the cardboard in the back of it. You don't have to go and get another cardboard or anything. And you're just gonna put it right in. 
and you got wall art. Now you can't tell me that the kids wouldn't love doing this. And this would keep them busy probably for an hour. So that's an hour out of three weeks that you don't have to think of something else to do. Thanks, Anna and Anne. So if you like what I do and you care to pass it on, please do that. Pass it on to other people that have kids and grandkids. And it was so easy. Watch it from the beginning. It's definitely something that's going to keep everybody busy um, during these times. You can do it for yourself. I would love this up on my wall. I honestly think I really love this.